Let's dive in to an all too commonly mistaken or confusing topic in Australia, pensions. Hi there, if you're new to the channel, I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat financial planner based here in Singapore, working with Australians to master their money and plan for retirement. Now, one of the most confusing areas when it comes to retirement planning in Australia is this concept of pensions. There are pensions all over the world, there are different structures, different rules, different tax treatments, and it can be an incredibly convoluted area. But in Australia, there are two common forms of pensions and they are completely different. And it's incredibly important to really understand the difference when planning for our own retirement. So let's dive into exactly what these are, we'll explain the differences and what you need to know. So let's start with the first one, age pensions. Now the aged pension is a government provided safety net in Australia to basically provide exactly that, an emergency level of income that will be enough to cover the basics, but not to provide, in most cases, for a comfortable retirement. It is very much designed to be a safety net, and it is also means tested, so it's subject to both an assets test and an income test. Now, that test does exclude your own home, but there are different limits or different thresholds for both homeowners and non-homeowners in Australia, obviously with the assumption that there is an additional rent expense to be met for a non-homeowner in Australia. Now, to put the numbers in perspective, the age at which you can access the aged pension in Australia is currently 67. A lot of people in Australia talk about the government continuing to lift the age at which we can retire. Now, that is not necessarily true when it comes to our superannuation or when you can actually retire, but what it does relate to is the age at which we can access the government aged pension. Now, let's have a look at what these numbers actually look like. Well, for a single person in Australia, the maximum aged pension that you can receive is $1,116.30 per fortnight. So that is the maximum, a little less than $30,000 per year. Now for a couple, that figure jumps to $1,682.80. So just over $43,000 per year for that couple. So as you can see, we're not providing a lot of money for any travel, domestic or international. We're not really providing money to be replacing cars or paying for uh, expensive insurances or really any fine dining. But it is designed to provide for that safety net as it is provided by the government. So that is an aged pension. Now, if you are wondering, well, am I entitled? Could I receive any of this? It's important to run your own numbers and speak to an advisor because you may find that when you first retire, you are not eligible for any of the age pension, but as your assets gradually deplete throughout your retirement, your eligibility may start later on. So run those numbers and don't ignore any entitlements that you may be able to access later on. Now, the second type of pension is the account-based pension or superannuation pension. Now, this is your money and it is within your control, obviously subject to the superannuation rules that are imposed in Australia. Now, the account-based pension is what you convert your superannuation savings, so the money you've been putting away for your retirement or your employer has been contributing for you while you've been working in Australia into that retirement account. Now, your account-based pension can start when you reach a condition of release. Now, for most people, that is going to be reaching age 60, so the current preservation age, and ceasing an employment arrangement or retiring, or reaching the age of 65 and retiring or continuing to work. Now, the benefit of the account-based pension is the tax rate within super, which is 15% before that pension age, drops away to zero. No more tax on capital gains tax, no tax on dividends, no tax on withdrawals. Now, the beauty of this and the difference to the age pension is it is your money. You control how it's invested, you control how you withdraw it, subject to making sure you withdraw the minimum amounts each year based on your, uh, the age at which you're making that drawdown, but everything else is within your control. 
and it is your money. If you decide that you wish to withdraw a lump sum and then an income stream, you decide that you just wish to withdraw an income stream, or you could even keep that money in accumulation phase and not convert it into pension. You would of course continue paying tax, but again, we need to seek advice and work out what is right for us. But they are the two differences. So we have our age pension provided by the government, subject to the means testing, both assets test and income test, subject to those limitations each year, which do typically get indexed. So it's important to work out exactly what that is for your given year. Then of course we have the account based pension, which is our money, our retirement savings, where we can have a lot more control and say over how that money is invested. So I hope that gives you a bit of food for thought, clarifies the difference between the two. Again, when it comes to our retirement planning, it's very important to consider both. We may find that you draw some of your retirement from the account based pension and some is provided by the aged pension. Drop me a note with any questions you have. I appreciate you taking the time to check out the video. Do remember to like, subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.